Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have more PlayStation VR 2 news to go over and cover in this video. We're gonna talk about new game releases, new game announcements, some updates, and an upcoming announcement that might make Starship Troopers fans extremely happy. So let's not waste any more time and let's get into it. Last week I told you guys about Exocars, the new racing game that is coming to PSVR 2 next month, and since then a lot of you guys have been asking me, understandably so, whether or not the game will have real support. Well today I can give you an answer to that question. Sort of. You see Joyway has confirmed this week on X that steering wheel support is currently planned for the PSVR 2 version, with more details to share closer to launch. Pay attention to the wording here quote-unquote, is currently planned. This might indicate that real support might not come at launch, but at a later date instead. Either ways, I'll still take this as good news, since it means that the game will definitely have real support sooner or later. This week, four new PSVR 2 games were added to the PlayStation Store, all of which you can wishlist right now, but only one of them has a release date. The first one comes as a no surprise to anyone, since it was announced last month during the VR game showcase, we're talking about the super popular Trombone, Champ and Flattened by Flat to VR Studio. We also have Harpagon, Whispers of the Tarnished City, and Deadland 2 VR. Harpagon is a fast-paced VR shooter by developer Something Random, where you smash alien quitters, argue with your dysfunctional crew, and destroy everything in sight. Built for VR, it promises to deliver chaotic fun, immersive combat, and a wild, hilarious storyline. As for Whispers of the Tarnished City, this one is being developed by FTFS Studio. It's an action-adventure game that combines exploration, puzzle-solving, and intense combat. It features a sci-fi post-apocalyptic world filled with ancient magic, forgotten ruins, and hidden secrets. And finally we have Deadland 2 VR by developer Codober, which is coming out on the very last day of next month, October 31st. And good luck to Codober, because last time I checked, Wanderer is releasing that day. So yeah, not a great pick by the developers. But anyways, Deadland 2 VR is a first person wave shooter, reading from the description on the PlayStation Store, quote unquote, step into the terrifying world of Deadland 2 VR, a high octane action survival game, where quick reflexes and deadly precision are your only lifelines. Armed with an arsenal of weapons, ranging from pistols and assault rifles to knives and swords, you must fight your way through waves of relentless zombies in a fully immersive virtual reality experience. So those were the four new PSVR 2 games that were listed on the PlayStation Store this week, and I'm interested to know if you're actually excited for any of these games, so let me know in the comments below. And before talking about the games that are releasing next week on PSVR 2, I want to encourage you to take a second out of your day to support the channel and hit that subscribe button for me. You see the overwhelming majority of you guys who watch my content are still not subscribed yet. So how about we change that right now and we collectively smash that subscribe button. Thanks a lot for your support. And now, let's talk about Rebeloid VR, Max Mustard and Metal Helsingo VR. Next week we have three new game releases to look forward to. The first one is a low-key release compared to the other two. It's an arcade pinball game developed by Codober and is called Rebeloid VR, launching next Monday, September 30th. What can I say to the developers of this game other than good luck once again, you're going to need it. I say this because just two days later, on Wednesday, October 2nd, the hotly anticipated Max Mustard will finally launch on PSVR 2. If you're not familiar with this game, it's a built from the ground up VR platformer developed by Toast Interactive and it is heavily inspired by Astrobot Rescue Mission. Now I'm currently working on a review for this game that will go live next Monday, September 30th and all I can say to you right now is, don't be afraid to pre-order this one, if you know what I mean. But that's not all for the week because on October 3rd, that means next Thursday, just today after Max Master's launch, Metal Helsingo VR will be joining the party on PSVR 2. This one is an action music with a first-person shooter by Fancam, and it looks like a lot of fun. 
step into the half-demon body of the unknown and feel the pulse of metal rage through you. Metal has Singo VR, who designs the acclaimed rhythm shooter from the ground up, placing its infernal arsenal straight into your hands and the fires of hell at your feet. Experience an unparalleled state of flow as you move, dash and aim in full VR when Metal has Singo VR launches on PSVR 2 next week. It's been months since developer Kinetic Games has announced that the hotly anticipated co-op Ghost Hunt and Sim, Phasmophobia, is coming to PSVR 2 on Halloween. Well, the game is now listed on the PlayStation Store with an October release date, so I guess I was right to include this one in the best PSVR 2 games releasing in October video. But if I tell you that there is a very good chance we will get the upcoming Starship Troopers Extermination on PSVR 2 and that the official announcement is happening next Monday, September 30th. You don't believe me, don't you? Well, take a look at this short clip posted by Sony Pictures VR on X. Recruits, eyes front, listen up. September 30th. Remember that date. Be here for a big announcement. Can you get me, troopers? Originally scheduled to release on November 14th, Skydance's Behemoth has now been pushed back to December 5th, and here is the official statement from Skydance Interactive. Quote unquote, to start, we just want to thank our amazing fans and community for your overwhelming support and feedback. We're striving to deliver the best AAA VR experience we can, so we've made the decision to push the launch of Skydance's Behemoth just a few weeks to December 5th, 2024. The positive reception to the game leading up to this point has been incredible, and the strong support from our community has made us all so excited to share what we've been working so hard on. We felt given our team the extra necessary time to polish and deliver the highest quality game at launch was most important for our players. Thank you for your patience and continued support. We'll see you all in the Forsaken Lands very soon. So there you have it guys, Skydance's Behemoth now has a new release date of December 5th and honestly I think that's for the best because we already have plenty of awesome games to look forward to this November. Just like Jeff Grubb has stated two weeks ago, Sony finally had their state of play last Tuesday, September 24th, and besides the announcement of Ghost of Yutei, or Yutai, I don't know how to pronounce that, PSVR 2 was the start of the show in my opinion. We now have an official release date for Metro Awakening by Vertical Games, easily one of the biggest VR releases of 2024, and it's close guys, it's coming out this November 7th, that means in less than a month and a half from now. Another pleasant surprise was the announcement of Hitman World of Assassination coming to PSVR 2 this December. I know the name is confusing, but this is pretty much the Hitman trilogy, which means the full campaign of Hitman 1, 2 and 3. I should also mention that there is a $10 upgrade path if you're on the PS5 version. Now I know that the recently released Quest 3 version was crap, and we don't know yet if this will be amazing or not, but what we do know however, based on this trailer, is that it will look significantly better than the Quest version. The final PSVR 2 game that was revealed during the state of play is actually a hybrid title from fast travel games called The Midnight Walk. Unlike the other two games that were shown during the state of play, this one doesn't have a release window yet, but you can add it to your wish list on the PlayStation Store. Embark upon The Midnight Walk in this reverend dark fantasy adventure built in clay from the mines behind Lost in Random. Become the Burnt One, befriend a lost lantern creature named Potboy, 
and use this flame to light your way through a conflicting world of wonder and horror. Survive and outsmart the many monsters eager to devour your little friend's flame as you experience five tales of fire and darkness featuring an incredible cast of art characters. In the headset, use eye tracking to enhance the experience by closing your eyes to focus on sounds and manipulate the world around you. Strange as it sounds, try it for yourself when the Midnight Walk finally launches on PSVR 2. And before closing off this video, I want to let you guys know that the lovely PSVR 2 platformer Stilt has received a free update this week, which adds a new multiplayer game mode called Color Splash, so if you have the game installed on your PS5, make sure to try it out. I also want to inform you that there is a new massive sale on the PlayStation Store, reducing the price of more than 45 PSVR 2 games and game bundles, so make sure to check this out as well. And that's gonna have to do it for this video guys, as always, if you enjoyed it, if you found it informative, and for more PSVR 2 news, reviews, and discussions, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and turn on the notifications as well. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video, but until then, take care. Compromise.